We're all searching for that golden goose, that one idea that'll show us our life has purpose, a meaning, a, a reason why we're here. Today, I found that goose. And no, it's not a real goose. I thought of a nice, probably fun idea for a game, Ragdoll Racer. In real life, the idea of ragdolling people is just way too intense and a little upsetting. But the good thing about games is they're not real life. Video game ragdolls just put a smile on your face. There's, there's nothing better than seeing a limp character roll down a hill. They move so funky, they look so funky, it's just hilarious watching a wet noodle fly across the screen. So it's settled. We know we all love ragdolls. What else do we all love? Mario Kart. That's where I bring you Ragdoll Racer. It's a game where you race your friends, but instead of a car, you're just a limp guy dragging across the ground. You know, sometimes the simplest ideas are the best ones. And when you get ideas like this, you just can't squander them. You gotta see if they're any good after this quick break. Are you struggling with game development? Are you an inexperienced developer? Well, don't worry. I'm, I was that guy. I've been there. You know, people always used to tell me, well, pfft. That's them spitting. Pfft. Game dev isn't hard. You know, and that really hurt. But if you join my course, we'll be able to learn the ins and outs of creating your own world in Unity. You know, let's stick it to those guys. Also, learn how to turn nothing into gold. If you join my course, there's a high probability that you might become rich. Not really. Now, I'm not going to tell you where to buy the course or how, how to buy the course. But if you're able to get in on this, you might learn something. And that's a promise. And on that note, I hopped into Blender and I started creating a really simple character model. Recently, all my game ideas have been these impossible dreams of creating complex story-based RPGs. They all require some high level of detail to work and they're really hard to prototype. So it's nice sometimes to be able to find something that that's so simple that I'll work with some easy to create graphics. And it took a bit, but I settled on something. He looks good, but I think he's missing something. Let's pop some hair on him and at least leave him a little bit of dignity. Uh, something's still off. I guess let's pop some eyes on him. There we go. Looking handsome. He's rigged, ready to start tossing around. And now that we got him ready, let's pop him into Unity and start creating that ragdoll. My idea for the movement system in this game is going to be interesting. Basically, the ragdoll tool adds a bunch of rigid bodies on each bone. So basically, I'll select a random one every second or so and have the controller apply force to that bone. I think it'll create a nice rolling effect that we're looking for. And you just got to make sure that there's enough force. There we go. Exactly what we're looking for. Who was I kidding? There's no dignity in this. Once I had the ragdoll set up, it was time to hit the slopes. I added a cinemachine to follow him around, but it took a bit to find a good follow target. If I follow the parent object, it's stagnant, and if I follow the bones, the camera shakes. I decided to pop the mesh as a child of the bones and see how that turns out, and I guess it looks good. The guy keeps on rolling. He, he rolls so elegantly down the hill. There is a small issue though. He doesn't move in the direction of the camera, so a couple of tweaks to the movement and we have our man rolling right where we want him. And with that done, it's time to hit the big leagues. Found a nice, classy, and free racetrack on the asset store and popped it into my project. It looks great. I love the pink shine. The materials weren't URP, so I had to do a few minor adjustments. Looks good. Nice trees. I don't, I don't know what's up with the track, but it's not about the track. It's about this beautiful green man and his sliding rolling adventures. I know what you're thinking. Don't start flaming me now. Obviously this won't be the final map, but I think this will be good enough to see how it plays within an environment meant for racing. And with all that done, I popped my ragdoll in there and saw just how fun it was to race. I imagine it'd be better with friends, but honestly, it's still entertaining just watching him roll around. I'm definitely interested in going further with this project. You guys think this would be a good game to pursue? Prototype is a nice change of pace from my other ideas. I mean, something so simple, yet it has the ability to entertain. So I've said it before, and I'll say it again, and I've said it a thousand times, and you probably heard it a thousand times from other people. Uh, there's, there's really nothing more invaluable to a game developer than a good prototype. A good prototype will really quickly and easily show you that your game 
has the potential to be fun or even already is fun with the little amount of work you've already put into it. It shows you that, that there is a reason to develop further. Um, with this game, I found that and it's something that I really haven't understood well. Like, yeah, I've had the glimpses of it before, but I feel like today I understand it way more than I did yesterday. And that's because, you know, the idea is actually good and I don't have that many good ideas. Um, I would say, for example, like most of my other prototypes were really art dependent. I would spend, you know, hours and hours doing art and shaders and and creating models and, and environments and the code would fall on the back burner. The gameplay would fall on the back burner. And by the end of, you know, creating a bunch of different art assets and animations and stuff like that, I would, I would say, what was the game again? I would forget. And so I guess the point I'm making is, you know, don't give up and if you find your prototype is taking a lot of work and a lot of a lot of time, it's taking more than a day or two, right? Then then you probably have an issue with the same issue that I had or a similar issue where you're not focusing on either the game or the game is just not fun. Like if it's taking a long time to develop, it should it shouldn't it, it shouldn't be made, right? I mean, obviously you need to go back and revisit what's going on. Um, and so that brings me to this this word. If you want to play Ragdoll Racer. Uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll start development on it. I'll, I'll go further with it. I might go further anyway, but but people's interests would definitely uh, help motivate me to keep going with that. Um, and also, you know, I'll, once I get some, you know, yes, I want to play, yes, I want to play. And once I get enough of those, I'll probably get a Steam page, you know, start applying networking to it because this is obviously meant to be an online game. And yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe for more videos like this or any other dank meme games that I create or anything like that. I would enjoy to have you as part of the community. Thank you so much and have a good night or day. Bye.